out now, and our drought may bring an environmental disaster to the state of California. One group says thousands of endangered fish could soon die because of low water levels. KCRA3's David Phoenix has been looking into that. He's here now with how close this disaster is to becoming reality, David. Well, it may be only a day's away, according to some people, and if it happens, it will be one of the most dramatic and most smelly effects of the drought so far. Tens of thousands of fish could be killed for lack of water, and a whole community left without its way of life. More than 100 people marched outside the federal offices in Sacramento today, demanding that the government release more water into California's northernmost river. Fish need water! Fish need water! Many protesters are members of Indian tribes that live along the Klamath River, which flows out of southern Oregon and into the Pacific Ocean near Crescent City. Recently, the Klamath has gotten so shallow and warm, it's turned green with algae and has become dangerous for the salmon that migrate and spawn here. Right now, um, our fish are starting to die. The protesters fear that without more water soon, they could see a repeat of 2002, when low water levels caused as many as 70,000 salmon to die on the banks of the Klamath, leaving fishing tribes like the Hoopa, Utah, and Karuk without their primary source of income. It will take the Klamath and Trinity River years to recover from another fish kill. I mean, we saw it back in 2002. Our people swore we'd never let it happen again. The water the tribes want for the Klamath is instead being diverted right now into another river system, the Sacramento River, where federal officials say it's also needed to protect endangered salmon. Our goal is to save all the fish. Now, we have the reality of fish are already dying in the river. What we're trying to do is prevent further damage to the system. But protesters say they can't wait any longer, that unless water managers open the dams immediately, it may already be too late. It will take four days for water to get to where I live, and in four days, tens of thousands of salmon are going to die. Biologists monitoring the climate are looking for the signs of a parasite that killed the salmon in conditions just like this. Federal officials plan to announce within the next few days how much water, if any, they plan to send to the climate. It's a big story in a yeah. remote part of our state. We're in touch with people on the ground and we'll be monitoring it. Just another facet of how the drought affects us. All right, David, thanks.